Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and in this video, I'm going to take this BandLab sample. I want to get down. And then I'm going to repitch it and stretch it into this. I want to get down. First, I'm going to add the sample. So I'm going to tap on the sample icon. Then I'm going to tap on samples. Then I'm going to click on the search icon and type in get down because that's the name of the sample I want. I want to get down. Then I'm going to tap on the plus icon. I want to get down. Now the first thing that I want to do is change the pitch. So I'm going to tap on the sample. Then I'm going to tap on the three dots. Then I'm going to tap on transpose. And at the bottom of the screen, I'm going to move the transpose dot until it says three semitones. And then I'm going to tap on the tick icon. So now this repitched sample sounds like this. I want to get down. Next, I want to split this sample. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on the snap icon to turn snap off. And then I'm going to pinch the screen to zoom in so that it's easier to split this sample. I want to get down. And if you look at this sample, you can see that you've got this wave image and this first part is the I wanna. And then this small bit in the middle is the get. And then the long cone shape at the end is the down. So I'm going to split the get and the down. So now I'm going to drag the screen so that the track position marker line is just before the get wave. Then I'm going to tap on the sample and then tap on the split icon. And then I'm going to drag the screen again and move the track position marker to the beginning of the word down. And then tap on the sample and tap on the split icon again. So now I've got the three parts, the I want to, which is the bit I'm going to leave at the normal speed, the get, which I'm going to extend, and the down, which I'm also going to stretch. Now before I stretch the get, I'm going to move the down out of the way. So I'm going to press on the down clip and drag it to the right. Then I'm going to tap on the get sample. Then I'm going to tap on the three dots icon. Tap on time stretch. Now there are two ways to stretch. And for this get sample, I'm going to press down at the bottom of the screen here where it says one times, which means normal speed. So I'm going to tap on that. And then you get this pop up that's got three options. 0.5, which is half speed, one, which is normal speed, and two, which is twice speed. And I want to slow this down, so I'm going to tap on 0.5. And as you can see now, this get sample clip has now doubled in length, and that's why I had to move the down sample clip out the way. So now that I've changed the get sample, I'm going to move the down sample back so that the beginning of the sample clip is at the end of the get clip. So I'm going to press on it and drag it left. If 
to let me do so. So, so far we've got this. I wanna get down. So now I'm gonna stretch the down. So I'm gonna tap on the down clip, then tap on the three dots icon, then tap on stretch. And this time I'm gonna press on the stretch icon at the end of the down clip and drag right. Then I'm going to drag the screen back to the beginning of the clip and then press on the play icon at the bottom left of the screen so I can hear what it sounds like. I want to get down. Okay, that's a bit long, so I'm going to press on the end and drag it to the left a bit. I'm going to have to go back into time stretch. Take it to about there and see how we get on. I want to get down. So that sounds about right. So now I'm going to press on the tick icon. I want to get down. Now, when we split clips like this, we could end up with a clicking sound at the beginning of each clip. So I'm going to press on the get clip, then press on the three dots, then I'm going to tap on fade. And what I'm going to do is add a slight fade to the beginning of the get clip, and that will remove any click. So now I'm going to drag the left dot on the fade slider at the bottom of the screen a little bit to the right, just to get a small fade in. And you can just about see there that there is this slight diagonal line that's now appeared at the beginning of the clip. And then I'm going to tap on the tick icon. Then I'm going to tap on the down clip and do the same. So I'm going to tap on the three dots, tap on fade, and then move the left dot on the fade slider at the bottom of the screen to the right. Just a little bit. So once again, I've got this diagonal line appear at the beginning of the clip. Then I'm going to tap on the tick icon. I want to get down. Now I want to go just a little bit further with this. I'm going to add a couple of stutters in here. So I'm going to drag the screen back to the beginning of the down clip. And I'm going to stretch the screen a little bit more, pinch out a little bit more. And you'll see at the beginning of this down clip, it starts in a kind of rounded fashion. It, the word, the D, starts quite quietly and expands up. And then you get this little hump. So I'm going to move the track position marker to that peak of the hump. Which is about there. Which will give me that D sound. Or the beginning of the D. Which is what I want for this stutter. So now I'm going to tap on sample, tap on the split icon, and then I'm going to tap on the second half of the down sample that I've split, and I'm going to drag it right to give me some space. Then I'm going to tap on the D sample, then tap on copy, and tap on the blank area between the two samples. Then tap on the paste icon. 
Then I'm going to drag the track position marker line to the end of that sample. Tap on the blank area again. And tap on the paste icon again. So that's my two stutters added in effect. So I'm going to drag the end of the down sample back to join up with the Ds. And finally with the Ds I want to reduce the volume of them slightly to give them more of a proper stutter effect. So I'm going to tap on the first D clip tap on the three dots and this time I'm going to tap on gain and then at the bottom of the screen I'm going to drag the dot on the gain slider to the left till it says about 5 dB or should I say minus 5 dB then I'm going to tap on the tick icon tap on the second D clip Tap on the three dots, tap on gain, and this time I'm going to drag it to about minus 3 dB. And tap on the tick icon. And that is my sample finished, and it sounds like this. I want to get that I wanna get down. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.